Hey there, I'm Christy with AddictedToDecorating.com and today I want to show you how I made this serving tray out of acrylic paint, gold leaf, and resin. So stay tuned for the details. For the first part of this project, you'll need a serving tray, acrylic paints, water, flow trawl, stir sticks, and cups and jars to mix your paint. I used six different colors of acrylic paints, so I put each color into one of my little cups. And then I added flow trawl to each cup in probably a one-to-one -one ratio. I used both craft paints and art paints and when I mix them up, I noticed that the art paint is thicker, and so I just added a little bit of water to those. The craft paint with just flow trawl was perfect. You can see the consistency here. Once all of my paints were mixed with Floetrol and water if needed, I began to add them to a jar, just a little bit at a time of each color, and there was no rhyme or reason to the order in which I did this. I just kind of mixed them up at random and tried to use each color about three or four times. And when I had enough paint in my jar, I poured the paint onto the bottom of the tray. And then I began to move the tray around just to be sure that the paint covered the bottom completely. With the entire bottom of the tray covered with the paint, then I used my propane torch to get all of the bubbles out. And then it was ready to set aside to let it dry. And since I had some paint left over, I decided to do another tray. This is a tray that I found at Joanne Fabrics for, I think it was 50% off. And while I did not like the design on the bottom, I knew that I could make it prettier with paint and resin. So I used the same colors, obviously, that I used on the last tray, but you'll see that the design ended up quite different. And just like the first tray, I poured it into the bottom of the tray. and then I began to swirl it around so that it would completely cover the bottom of the tray. And once again, I used my propane torch in order to get all of the bubbles out of the paint. And in this one, I also had some little dried bits of paint that got into the tray. So I just used one of my stir sticks to get those little bits out. And then this one was also ready to set aside and let it dry. And it takes several hours, probably overnight, for it to dry. And then once the paint was dry, I used my favorite clear coat, which is General Finishes, and put a coat of clear matte finish over the whole thing. This finish dries really quickly. I think it probably took an hour at the most for it to finish drying. 
So while that was drying, I made my pattern. And I just uh, freehanded a butterfly out of craft paper. And I cut the design out of one side and then folded it in half to use that as a pattern to draw on the other side. And with the pattern drawn on the other half, then I used my X-Acto knife to cut the design out. And there's my finished design. When the clear coat was dry on the tray, I used some painter's tape to tape the pattern into the center of the tray. And I just kind of eyeballed it. I didn't get out a tape measure or anything like that. And then I used a fine point felt tip pen. I think this was a permanent marker. I used that to trace the pattern onto the tray. And when that was finished, I removed the pattern and then filled in the areas where the painter's tape had been. And then I also went back and filled in some smaller circles on the wings of the butterfly just to finish the pattern. And next I used some super thick, thick adhesive size in these fine line applicators to fill in the pattern. And this was a very long and tedious process. It looks really fast here, but believe me, it's not fast. And my thumb was cramping, so I had to stop several times and just let my hand rest a little bit. I would say the whole thing took maybe 30 or 40 minutes to fill in with the adhesive size. And once the pattern was done, I set it aside for several hours to let it dry. And you know that it's dry when it turns clear. Then you know it's ready for the next step. And for this, you are going to need some gold leaf a stiff brush, some resin, some mixing cups and stir sticks, and a propane torch. And this is the fun part. This is where you actually get to see the design come to life with the gold leaf. And I just put it on one sheet at a time and press the gold leaf into the size using my brush trying to get it into all of the little nooks and crannies and then brush away any excess and of course if any of the big pieces come off you can reuse those it's also smart to turn off your ceiling fan before using gold leaf which i forgot to do so it was a little finicky to work with but i made it work but definitely the least amount of airflow you have through the room the easier it's going to be And as you brush away all of the excess gold leaf, don't throw that away. Be sure to save it because you can always use that later for other little projects. So I just brush it up into a pile, scoop it into a cup, and keep it for later.
And once you have as much excess gold leaf removed as possible, then you still want to get out the vacuum cleaner um, and get all the little extra bits out. Be sure to vacuum your work surface and the tray and your hands. And then it's time for the final step, which is the resin. I use art resin and you mix it in a one to one ratio with the resin and the hardener. It starts out clear and then as you begin to mix it, it gets a little bit cloudy. And then as you mix it more, it becomes clear again. So with art resin, you want to mix it about three minutes. I also put some glitter into my resin just to give it a little extra sparkle, but of course this step is optional. And after mixing it thoroughly, I poured the resin onto the tray and then used my stir stick to distribute it evenly along the bottom of the tray. Resin is self-leveling, and so you don't have to get it perfect. Just be sure that everything is covered, and then as it sits, it will level itself. And finally, I used my propane torch in order to get all of the little bubbles out of the resin. And then it was just a matter of letting it sit to dry, resin takes about 24 hours to dry and about 30 days to cure. So that is it. There is the finished tray with the beautiful gold leaf butterfly and the glassy finish of the resin. Thanks so much for watching and for more project ideas be sure to visit www.addictedtodecorating.com